Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the x-intercepts of a quadratic graph with equation in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Now we've got a quadratic graph, we're sketching this and we get this shape here. Remember quadratic graphs either have a sort of u-shape or a sort of upside down u-shape, so one of those two shapes there. If you were to take different values of x and find the y of each and then just plot the various points. Now we want to find the x-intercepts, these are the x-intercepts here also known as roots, that's the kind of posh name for them. And remember in the previous video we saw that to find the x-intercept, well this point and this point, we know the y value of both these points is going to be zero, because any point on the x-axis the y value is zero. So as a reminder, to find the x-intercept make y be equal to zero, let y be equal to zero. So that is the key point with this particular video. So. We just need to make that y value 0, so 0 equals 4x squared plus 7x plus 3. And then we have to solve this equation to find the values of x here, and that will correspond to these two values of x here, where the y value is equal to 0. Now, this is a slightly harder quadratic to solve, and hopefully you've viewed the video on this before about how to solve quadratics where there's a number in front of the x squared, which is not 1, so the coefficient of the x squared there is not 1. And the way I do it is to put a little plus and a little times next to the equation here, and we find two numbers that add to give that middle number, the coefficient of the x, the number in front of the x, so that's 7, and that multiply to give the first times the last number, so 4 times 3, which is 12. A lot of students get this step wrong. They forget to times the 4 and the 3, and they just find two numbers at times to give that last number 3. This is sometimes called the AC method, because we're finding two numbers at times to give the first times the last, the A times the C AC method, hence why it's named. Now, what are those two numbers that add to give 7 and times to give 12? Well, 3 and 4. So what we do is we split the middle term, and as per the name, we just split the middle term. So that middle term gets split using the two numbers you found. Now, I said the two numbers here, that add to give 7 times to give 12 were 3 and 4. So we can split it into plus 3x and plus 4x. It doesn't matter which way around they go, you'll end up with the same answer in the end. So that 7x has been kind of split up into 3x and 4x. And that is the same as that because 3x plus 4x does simplify to 7x. Let's just copy in the rest of it. And then the next step, if you remember, is you factorise each half of the equation. So I'm going to underline each half, and then we look for common terms here. So what's common to this and this, the 4x squared and the 3x? Well, x, and then you put a bracket, x times what is 4x squared? Well, it's 4x. And x times what is plus 3x? Well, it's plus 3. And then do you remember, you repeat the bracket. You repeat the bracket. So I'm going to leave a little space here, and then I repeat that bracket there, so put 4x plus 3, I'm going to duplicate it. And then you think, what goes in the middle? What times 4x plus 3 is 4x plus 3? Well, it's just 1, isn't it? And don't forget to put the plus on front of it if it's a positive number. And then the final thing is to factorise out the bracket. So this expression here and this expression here, they have common factors of 4x plus 3. So I'm going to factorise out the 4x plus 3. And then I think, well, 4x plus 3 times what gives you this? Well, it's just x. x times 4x plus 3 is x, 4x plus 3. And 4x plus 3 times what is 1, 4x plus 3? Well, it's just plus 1. So we got that. Um, now, I've forgotten that equals 0, so let's put it back in. Equal 0. I've got equal 0 here. Equal 0. So now I'm just trying to solve this equation here that's factorised. And remember, if you've got two things that multiply together... Because remember, when you have two brackets next to each other, it means they're multiplied. If two things multiply to give zero, we know one of those numbers has to be zero in order to get a product of zero. So either the 4x plus 3 is zero, or the x plus 1 is equal to zero. Now, we can subtract 3 from both sides here to solve for x. So that gives you 4x is minus 3. And then to get rid of the the 4 in front of the x, because x has been multiplied by 4, if we divide by 4 to get rid of it, you get x is negative 3 over 4. So that's one of the x-intercepts here. We don't know which one yet. And then if we solve this, we minus 1 
if we subtract 1 from both sides of the equation, we get x is minus 1. And you might be able to do this step in your head, by the way, and that's absolutely fine if you can. The quick way of doing it, by the way, is you negate this number without the x, so the plus 3 becomes negative 3, and then divide by the number from the x, so negative 3 over 4, which is what we've got, and negative 1 over 1, which is what we've got. So we've got the two in x-intercepts, and if we just put that on this graph, well, minus 1 is lower, so that x-intercept there must be the y minus 1, and this other one must be the minus 3 quarters. And there we go, we found the x-intercept. These are the values of x which make the y value 0.